Hello, today we will talk about basic animal anatomy. Um, yeah, let's start. What you have to know is that most uh, vertebrates share common bones. So let's give an example. You have leg bones. Uh, here I'm drawing it very simplified, of course. So this is essentially your leg. But in the case of, let's say, the horse, your hip, uh, the hip bone goes further down. Leg goes like this. You notice it has the same length here. And then you, you have the foot, which is a lot longer. And this is what gives that uh, distinct shape to most quadrupeds. Is that a word in English? I don't know, I don't care. So, first thing. And uh, in the, uh, on the front is the same. You have on your back your shoulder blades. And yeah, see, arms, shoulder blades are there ribcage great stuff very useful and in the case of most quadrupeds again the shoulder pads go uh, blades go down like this so you have the, the actual arm and then well, in the case of the horse the hands so to speak and uh, so it goes up up And this is why the legs, if you are not used to anatomy, will look like the legs bend the wrong way. Because the biggest articulation is of course here. I mean not the biggest in the sense of the biggest bone, but <sighs> boner. Uh, but the biggest, uh, the longest bones. So. What am I doing here, like this? Leg, so you have basic shape, long neck. I'm not trying to be pretty here. It's just to explain, see, and but you have to kind of remember this is the arm, the, uh, this is the upper part of the arm. Uh, here you have the hands. Uh, in the case of the horse, again, it's actually just the middle finger. Um, it was brilliantly explained in a video I shall put in the demonstrate uh, in the links below. And um, how to practice? There are a few things I can suggest, and I will come to that now. So, uh, the best way to practice is of course to go at the zoo and draw the actual animals themselves. Maybe you can't go to the zoo because you're living in the middle of Texas. I have a friend who lives there. So, uh, an alternative solution. Got the internet pictures, great resource, very great, but you don't have that uh, whole 360 degrees uh, view on the animal. So you will miss several angles. So uh, a little trick I've been told is, well, Schleich figurine. Uh, Schleich is a German company, which is of course why it's so goddamn precise. So here you have a horsey, out of focus, yeah, very nice. Uh, I'm showing the horsey because, well, horses are known for being very difficult to draw and that's why it's kind of my main subject. But uh, they, all, they also make different animals, like here, very manly. It's a uh, adorable little... Yeah, that's cute. 
the thing is, they're actually anatomically correct in the way they're sculpted. And they don't move. It's good for practice. Yeah. Videos can also be kind of nice. Uh, if you know the basic uh, bone structure, you can kind of see how the the legs move and stuff and get a feeling for how the animal will move which is also very useful so let's get back and summarize for science science so just to add on this essentially same anatomy Rib cage, shoulder pads, hip bone, leg bone, ar uh, shoulder, arm bone. Here you have the leg, the feet, the uh, uh, the hands. Uh, funny thing is, you actually have a bit of tail in the human body. Uh, if you have uh, you have your hips. And the vertebra has like two, three extra vertebra down there that are like a tail, but well, <laughs> it's completely in your body and it's not very useful. Uh, you can break it, it's very, very painful. Luckily, I am very solid. So, yeah, just practice. Practice is the most important thing. And science! <laughs>